for all of you energetically sensitives out there, I want to give you a heads up and let you know that the main goal of this deep, deep karmic healing is for you to come to a more conscious choice. Yes, welcome to our energy update week 14. Karmic infliction point. Ooh. All right, so we are right at the beginning of a new era, a new paradigm, a new energy coming in, not just because it's the 1st of April. Yeah, it's a completely new energy that wants to sort itself out. And for many of us, personally and collectively, this leads to a little bit of confrontation within. So it's all about our inner balance right now, all about really choosing whom we want to experience this life as, what our vision is, and how we can get there. So this pragmatic element that I have pointed out in the energy forecast for April is now already taking effect today is new moon and April is uh, very unique in this way because we have two new moons. Yeah, one here right now and one at the very end of April. So there's two beginnings. And as you all know, these lunar cycles, they do affect us energetically sensitives and empaths. They affect everybody really, but they affect us in in uh, say maybe more visceral way yeah we feel things uh, very much uh, in the physical and in our emotional and and also sort of conceptual understanding of ourselves so uh, there's a there's an emphasis right now here on this upper part of our energy system third fourth fifth sixth and seventh chakra yeah and that can easily become imbalanced so there is just, if you look at it from a pure energetic point of view, is a need to balance, okay? And let's look into what this is and how we can do this and why this is such an important moment of choice here right now because we've been working with these karmic resolution energies, yeah, finding ways yeah trying to reconcile for quite a while in fact actually since june july last year and and that uh, is something that we are now sort of wanting to graduate from yeah so here at transcos we just had a beautiful beautiful karmic ancestry clearing marathon for the last three days and it was really really intense and it was very very clear that you know, these, these karmic layers that we carry with us as baggage, yeah, that they more or less have to be addressed and healed in this sort of layered way. So just because you think you went through something or you've made a decision, like say last year, yeah, like a big decision maybe to get divorced or to start a new job or to move or uh, find a new home and, and or, or socialize uh, with new kinds of people, doesn't mean that you can't still be pulled into your old, old tendencies. Yeah, and this is what is happening right now. There's a little bit of a trigger point here for you getting pulled back in to your old karma, drama, trauma play. The difference, though, is, is that for most of us now, as we've become more aware yeah, of this repeat pattern in our life, it's no longer uh, something that we feel a victim of. We are much more conscious about what is going on, how it affects us, and also what the consequences might be. Can you guys relate to that? Yeah, there's stuff that is coming up right now, sort of fear porn stuff that triggers old stuff where we can consciously see how we're being pulled into our dispositions 
Yeah. So for some of you, that's maybe codependency or, uh, you know, black and white thinking or, you know, wanting to throw the towel and, and just get rid of everything and uh, start new. Yeah. Because um, you're tired. You're really tired of, uh, you know, this, this, this endless repeat, this pull. Yeah that you are feeling right now. And you, again, here we, we're also looking at the collective as a mirror of that. Yeah, so uh, these things that are going on here in regards to Corona, in regards to money system, in regards to war, in regards to supply chains and inflation and interest rates and housing market and all these different elements of our daily lives yeah, in 3D. Yeah, these are new problems. Yeah, but they're like right in our face this week and uh, especially here this weekend. Yeah, so for all of you energetically sensitives out there, I want to give you a heads up and let you know that the main goal of this deep, deep karmic healing is for you to come to a more conscious choice, all right? So we can't really prevent outer things from happening. We can't prevent life from happening. But we can change the way we deal with it. And you've heard me say this many times. There is, you know, sort of a simplistic approach that sometimes works, and that is, you know what? This is how I've been dealing with this all along, and this is what it got me. Do I still want this? No? All right, then I have to do something different. Yeah, so far, that sounds pretty rational and reasonable. The tendency that we will have here is to go in the other extreme with it, and to say, oh, and this is all BS, and I'm not going to, you know, deal with this anymore, and I've had it, yeah, and, and, and get stuck in our frustration, and maybe even the anger, yeah, that is looming here in, in, in us, you know, due to, let's say, decades of, of frustration about something, yeah, so we're going to have to learn to discern, yeah, which is part of our own, yeah, which, which part of our own decision-making is responsible for the frustration and which part actually has to do with other things, yeah, with our partners, our bosses, our um, systems or governments or whatever. So there are things that we can change and then there are things that we can't change. And when we are at such a karmic infliction point, yeah, where we really determine what we want to experience here in these uh, next decades, in this next chapter of our life, yeah, we're going to have to carefully consider this. Because if we make our decisions based on our past trauma, say, based on, you know, the, the, the third chakra drive, yeah, I've talked about this a lot here in conjunction with conscious manifestation. Yeah, there's a there's a psychological drive that we all have. Yeah, that that kind of steers us at least at first into a direction where we uh, try to avoid a certain negative feeling. Yeah, that's that's the ego identity. The ego identity, for example, poverty is a very good uh, example here. Uh, I experienced, like, say, lots of restrictions, limitations, or pain growing up due to uh, lack, due to, you know, financial restrictions. And I swore to myself that I'm not going to ever experience this again. And therefore, the psychological drive that I develop is, you know, to, you know, make as much money as I can so that I would never have to experience this again. This, from a karmic standpoint is not very sophisticated because really what we're doing is energizing the past trauma yeah because by not wanting to experience something that has inflicted pain to you in the past yeah while the, there is a learning in this yeah it also if that's the only drive that you have in your life yeah and if this uh, basically determines 
most of the choices that you make. For example, you know, what you prioritize in life. Yeah, Do I prioritize the love that I want to feel in my life, the love that I want to experience with uh, the people that, you know, I have in my life? Or uh, is it more important for me to make as much money as I can and maybe inherit something to them, yeah? Um, uh, sometimes missing out on on you know the 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 the, the lovingness or the the time that it takes to embody that yeah and and ultimately kind of miss the 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 greater goal yeah so from from a metaphysical standpoint um to to focus on something that you don't want to experience yeah is karmic repeat okay because because you in F, in inadvertently energizing the very thing yeah that that brought you into this position so when we talk about this new chapter energy yeah this is like literally you know turning a page and saying all right i have learned this lesson i understand this now i have made the unconscious conscious i now understand what I identified with, yeah, and I, I see now that, you know, and this is all through chakra, that's why you probably also feel this like strong sort of pressure here in your sternum and, and stomach area. Yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, what I thought I had to be, and this is where all the stress in my life, yes, I performing performance anxiety or the fear of making mistakes or. Um, even the fear of repeat for some of you who have done a little bit of consciousness work, you, you, you're no longer naive about patterns in your life, but you still don't know how to really find a new way. So this moment of choice, yeah, that is that is triggering this part of you that tries to avoid the pain of the past, yeah, and. Uh, that does not allow you to to see past your fear of change is what needs to be addressed here in this next week. In other words, it is a, a week where you really, really want to go in and work with these two parts in you. This one part that that just wants to break free, that wants to break through that doesn't care anymore, that has, uh, you know, uh, where you say to yourself, I've had enough of this, I'm not going back and, and, and redoing this, all right? And then the other part in you that recognizes that, okay, for me to actually grow, I have to let something go. So what is it that I need to let go of? And this is where, you know, this inner confliction, you know, it meets our our trauma and our um, weakness, if you will, if you feel like you're getting a hit to your ego, to your identity, yeah. And so uh, these these aspects of of mm, little ego death, yeah, that I uh, called it in the April forecast, uh, they can hit you quite hard now here over this weekend, where you really have to go into this reality check with yourself and say, okay, hang on. So this is what I want. And this is what I'm experiencing right now. And this is where I'm from. How can I get there where I want? Sometimes, yeah, we have to redefine our goals. This is mostly what we've been doing here over the last two, three months since the beginning of the year. Right now, you this isn't really in the foreground anymore. Right now, it's more about the, the pragmatic part, like how do I get there? And this is where we can often get frustrated or a little bit nervous and get pulled into our old fears. Yeah, because uh, the, the approach that we've had didn't work in the first one, okay? And now we we uh, feel like you know we we can either let it all go and and do something completely different or get caught in this like doing harder and and doing more of the same that is what needs to be broken through now that is what needs to be let go of cuz at the end of the day if we 
embrace the bigger picture of things. There's many, many different ways to get there. And when we work with our true self and when we work with, you know, like how we understand ourselves fundamentally, yeah, what we are, yeah, we are fundamentally a soul self first, yeah, and then we are this 3D ego self, yeah, that that is dealing with all these these things here that define our personality, who we are, yeah, and then the third layer to that is what we're going to do with this, yeah, how we are going to put this into action, how we are going to impact the world with it, how we are going to embody this. And right now, yeah, we're, th th this energy is, is steering us to look at is how we going to do this, the ways of getting there. There's no doubt in most of us here that we are a soul self, that we are a, a spirit being somehow, yeah, even if we can't really put this into words, but we, we we can feel that there is a soul in us and that that soul is kind of connected to something like a like a higher power, yeah. And the, our ego self, yeah, the the who we are, yeah, is is mm, determined, yeah, really by we are how we are responding to, you know, like the true self in us, yeah, the, the, the soul self that informs us about our greater sort of soul purpose and all these these situations and and karmic supporting actors that we attract in our life that show us, yeah, sort of what it is that we need to refine in order to resolve some of these these karmic lessons. So karma is neither a, a good or a bad thing. It's fundamentally a, a tool for growth. Yeah. And it's up to us and our consciousness level to recognize that when that happens. Yeah. When you are at such an infliction point, um, you know, typical examples for that are um, you know, obviously, you know, when you when you in, in a conflict or should I get you should I stay or should I leave? Yeah. Should I get divorced now? Um, you know, I have kids, uh, you know, how is that going to affect the future generations? Or, um, you know, you, you see that uh, maybe a certain uh, a career that you've chosen isn't really getting you where you want or that it requires at least the way you've been doing it way too much time. Yeah, that you have to sacrifice so many other things for this or you know you 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 really sort of uh, realizing that the the say the the tribe yeah the, the the karmic tribe maybe your family or the village or city or country that you're in um is is holding you back keeps pulling you back into a a smaller you yeah a more sort of ego based you and these, or, you know, like a health crisis can do this too to a person, yeah? Where we realize that, uh, you know, I've got to change a bigger thing here. This is about, you know, the, the concept of life, of my life. The life that I want based on who I am today. And this is big, guys, okay? This isn't something that you decide on a fly because, you know, you, you have... Uh, obviously, all these these spiritual ideas and ideals, okay, and then you have your physical and um, emotional and mental uh, uh, sort of frameworks, yeah, structures, and you know, three D life, yeah, that is happening to you. So uh, again, it, it, life seems to be this constant dance between, you know, uh, sort of our soul self being pulled in in this way, yeah, and, and the higher realms and our physical 3D self uh, being pulled into that way, into the more material realm of things. And and the decision-making is happening right here, yeah, in our heart awareness where we can feel both and where the task is to balance that. And... Because this is so big here this weekend and then continually throughout the weekend, we'll 
sort of become less black and white. Yeah, it 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 will sort of release, you know, the anger, the black and whiteness here throughout the weekend, and then it will become easier for us to feel what the right way is. But because it it seems like so black and white right now, yeah, and this applies to collective things as well. Uh, it's very important that you go inward. Yeah, life isn't that simple. Yeah, it's not either on or off. Yeah, so black and white thinking pulls us into our ego duality and it restricts our per- perception. On the other hand, you know, there are certain things that you've learned now, and there's certain things that you've grown into that you can feel yeah deep from your heart it's a it's that spiritual passion that you guys have yeah and also the 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 desire to uh, for have a more fulfilling and purposeful life yeah maybe in in conjunction with serving others that that wants to come to an expression now and it is the right time you know that call that you feel within yourself is is very accurate but you still have to balance your strategy a little bit between wanting to live a simpler life yeah and 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 just you know letting go of all this performance stuff and and trying to make it in this in this world and on the other hand recognizing that this is a moment where we all have to stand with our own light we have to make a stance for our own soul self awareness so it's quite big guys and in easier words, it's really about discernment now. You know what stays, what goes. What am I signing up for here? Yeah. What do I need to let go to grow? So overall, the next week's energy is steered to with resolution, which means that the more authentic and the more conscious you can be with yourself, but without, you know, sort of destroying everything, without sort of allowing this this black and whiteness, yeah, this sort of blind freedom fighter, yeah, warrior type of energy uh, to take over, but at the same time also honoring yourself and your life experience, honoring your needs, and ones here in 3D and honoring, you know, this sort of karmic ancestral learning or teaching, yeah, that you are becoming aware of. So it's really, really about finding a balance on a, a deeper level of your being, which means yeah, that, it, that the balancing act is less simplistic. But then in the end, it becomes simpler again. Yeah, we just have to go through these layers now. So the best way to deal with all this, you know, fifth chakra, yeah, self-expression, authenticity, speaking the truth, standing with your light, sixth chakra, you know, having the greater vision and, and kind of feeling exactly where this needs to go, but not quite... Um, being sure how to get there. Seven chakra, the support that you feel coming in through that spiritual prompting, yeah, to go into your higher expression. And then your your ego, your 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 third chakra, yeah, that still tries to to uh, comply or conform or make it in this 3D world under the 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 the, the old paradigm. Yeah, and then your heart which offers you the resolution. Yeah. That's basically your task. You're in this next week. See the greater picture and take time for this, guys. Yeah. Calm yourself down. Your weakness will get triggered. Your fears will get triggered. You will feel like a hit to your ego. Yeah. And process the anger and frustration in a different way. Maybe this can help you. If you focus on that, how can you process this frustration differently this time around? Yeah? And 
recognize yeah, that you are, after all, the main actor, the script writer, and the director of your life. All right. So you have the right to change the script. You have the right to say, you know what, from now on, I'm going to approach this differently. And I may not 100% know how to do this yet. But I do know that if I keep doing the same thing as I have always been doing, it's going to be rough for me to, you know, realize and express myself in ways that I can feel as authentic you know, or true to me. So quite a big energy here this week, guys. Um, collectively, uh, we're going to see this play out on this world stage just exactly in this way. And really what needs to happen is this sort of check in with ourselves. All right, and what we stand for. The way I see this for myself is almost like if you have to make a choice to subscribe to a new uh, kind of self renewing, you know, uh, uh, kind of play or app or uh, is something that when you when you subscribe to it now, when you put your signature under it now, all right, it's going to bring a certain sort of repeat into your life, and you need to understand here that this this new repeat, yeah, then becomes your new karma, and you need to decide now what you want as your new karma, and so uh, don't feel. Uh, like this is a, a now or never kind of thing. It's, it's, it's much, much deeper than that, guys. So everyone here who feels triggered in their performance anxiety, you need to step back because that's not about performing. It's about congruence, authenticity, freedom, love, and truth in your life, okay? Those are different kind of values, yeah, different kind of resonances. They have nothing to do with performance because the only one who decides if this is, the, you know, what you want, what you need, et cetera, is you, okay? So there is no performance. And if you get stressed out by some of your spiritual thinking that you have to choose the higher route and the higher path, and what if you don't choose your higher path, do you get punished by God? You're going to have to reevaluate that as well, okay? As conscious soul selves, now we want to step into our co-creatorship, okay, and say, okay, I, I am aware that I am a spirit being. And I am aware what I'm doing in here. I might not have all this figured out yet, but I am aware, okay? It's basically raising your hand and saying, I'm here, okay? And that is a huge choice in a person's life. It has the power to resolve karma from lifetimes. It's literally this one thread that if you pull that out, yeah, and you know, you let go of that, you are suddenly in a whole new understanding of yourself. So with that, I would like to close and wish you a very conscious dealing with all of this. It's not easy, yeah, but you've over you've come over the hill, guys. Okay, it's now just the moment where you have to put this into action. Some of you would call this testing, yeah. It's a reality testing or truth testing right now. So yes, you will make a decision in this next week that will determine that sort of course. And like I said earlier, you can change course at any time. So don't get stressed out by that. But make sure whatever course it is that you're taking now is conscious. Yeah. Love you guys. See you very soon. And... 
I would love to talk to you guys about this next Wednesday in our energy talk. Yeah, what or how this is coming up in your lives. Bye bye.